So team keep it clean What's going on It's Engraving here With another video And I wanted to um, Wanted to give y'all an update uh, Just a, a clear um, Detailed update On everything that's going on Everything that's been going on I ain't just wanna Leave y'all in dark or whatnot. Uh, and I feel like um, Really over the years So many of y'all have been uh, Transparent with me I feel like I've been Transparent with y'all as well With different things That have gone on In our lives and whatnot. Um, so I just felt like y'all still deserve that to continue. Um, and like we family, we family. So team, team, keep it clean is like one, one big family. So I felt like y'all deserve to know everything that's going on. So, um, I don't know how long I got cause, uh, I got a dentist appointment in a little bit, but anyway, um, bottom line, YouTube, uh, disabled my monetization. So the way that I, my income, they took it away. They disabled it. Um, they did that on February 21st. Uh, so that was, wow, that was seven days ago. Oh, yeah, seven days ago. Yeah, so it's been a week. Um, initially, when they did it, I thought that they, because I, I got an email. I got an email on February 21st at 11.48 a.m. And that email was like, oh, your channel's been, uh, is, the monetization has been disabled. And I was like, oh, I, I was looking at the email. I was like, oh, it's, it's, got, it's got to be for my old channel. Cause obviously I don't use my old channel anymore. I don't upload. I don't do anything on my old channel anymore. So it's got to be for that. But I op opened the email and it was for this channel. And I was like, "What? What? Like, what's what's going on?" And the reason that they gave uh, was for for reuse content. And I was like, "Reuse content? Like, what is that?" Um, so I looked it up. Um, I reached out to YouTube. I talked to their chat support. And one of the reasons I was so frustrated about the whole thing, one, because that's how I make my money. Um, that's how I take care of me, my family, my wife and son. That's how I take care of everything. Um, but then on top of that, I was so frustrated and, and I'm in a much better place now. Um, that's why I'm able to talk about it like this. Uh, so I'm, I am feeling a lot better. Um, and real quick, special shout out to. My guy Jason from Huddle Up Films. I talked to him a lot about it. Um, shout out to my guy Nitro. Um, talked to him just yesterday about everything going on and just talking to those two. Um, they really like put me in such a better spirit about the whole thing. They really did. So a special shout out to those two. I know uh, other people have reached out. Um, other youtubers and stuff like shout out to, to raven c shout out to, to coach evans uh shout out to my guy jay um a lot of people have reached out uh shout out to bobby trusted he reached out as well shout out to everybody that reached out and all the team keep it clean that reached out i appreciate all of y'all man uh for real um because it's like it hit me man it, it hit me and it it hurt me uh it worried me it had me stressed out it had me just anxious it had me all type of negative feelings and I'm still dealing with it now, which I'm going to explain to you all in a little bit. But I'm just I'm in a better place now uh, than I was a couple of days ago, even just yesterday. Um, but anyway, uh, so got the email. Your channel's been disabled for monetization and uh, for reused content. So I looked up what, what is reused content? And they were like, it's when you say, for instance, you, you upload a clip. Or you upload a video, um, but you don't add anything to it. You don't put your own spin on it. You don't put your own narrative on it. You don't make it funny. You don't. You don't add anything up to. Uh, you don't add anything to it. You just upload a clip, and that's it. And I'm thinking, like, hold up now. I um. This is another reason why I was so frustrated with everything. Cause I'm like, anytime that we upload a clip, whether it's from like ESPN or NFL Network or any any one of these things talking about mostly the Ravens and whatnot. Anytime we upload a clip, we always talk about it. We always talk about it and tell why we feel, we, we agree, we disagree. We talk about different points, whether it's a clip, whether it's an article, whatever. And we, of course, give credit as well. Um, but so with that, I was like, wow, what's the problem with that? Because that falls in line with what you can do on YouTube. I've been doing that for years and whatnot, and it, there hasn't been any problems. So the way that I felt, I'm like, man, I, I felt like I had been done wrong. And been done wrong in such a major way, especially with it being monetization. Like, and when they first um, sent me the email, like, "Oh, your channel's been disabled for monetization," um, they said, "Oh, you you can appeal, you can do an appeal." And I was like, "Okay, well, yeah, let me do this appeal right away." 
And I did the appeal the same day that I got the email that it was disabled for monetization. I did the appeal a couple hours later because I'm like, look, this got to be a mistake. I'm trying to fix this ASAP. I'm I, like, I, I got to get this taken care of because it's my money. Um, so I did the appeal and, and in the instructions for the appeal, they were like, OK, we will review it within 14 days. Um, but make sure in the appeal you include your video. I mean, your YouTube channel's URL. Within the first 30 seconds of the video They said the video can't be no more than 5 minutes uh, You should and, and the reason I think they do that The reason I think they want a, a video appeal Instead of just a, a type one Or you fill out a form Is because there's a lot of channels That are automated channels So they're not really run by real people They're just based off of automations and stuff And they, um, they'll download and upload content From other channels and stuff like that so I think they wanted to make sure it was a real person behind this account. So I'm like, okay, cool. I do the video appeal. So I did it, and I said my uh, channel's URL within the first 30 seconds of the video. I said it 17 seconds into the appeal video. And so I submitted it. I'm like, all right, did that. Now I just got to wait. And they were like, all right, we're going to review it within 14 days. And if we, of course, accept the appeal, then monetization will be turned back on. Um, but if we don't accept the appeal, then you have to wait 30 days to apply for monetization again and so it's not even a guarantee that you get it back you have to wait 30 days to apply for it. So i'm like oh boy here we go but i'm like all right let me so i'm gonna send this appeal and let's go but even when i sent the appeal i was still upset because i'm like man any money that i lost any money that i lose while during this whole appeal process what I was, I was frustrated about this too is because I can't get it back. It's not retroactive. It's, it's just, it's lost. It's lost. Even if YouTube turned around and be like, hey, we, our apologies. We were wrong. We disabled your content. I mean, excuse me, we, dis we disabled monetization, but we made a mistake. Even if they would have done that, anything that I lost, it would just be a loss. And that hurt me too, because I'm like, wow. I, I, I was like really upset. Really really upset about that whole thing um, And just really this whole thing uh, But so I did my appeal um, And they reviewed it like within a day And I was like oh okay wow let's go They reviewed it like within 24 hours Less than 24 hours So I looked at the email And they're like oh your appeal's been denied And I was like oh mm. Cause the, oh that, that like that that hurt Cause I'm like really like they They denied it and I looked to see what the reason was that they denied it. And they said, because you didn't include your channel's URL within the first 30 seconds. And I'm, I'm like, I, I literally did that, though. I literally did that. I read the rules on what I needed to do to include in the video, and I did that. But they said I didn't include it in the first 30 seconds. And I, I was like, wow. I, I, I was, that's when, like, the pain got worse because I did what was asked of me to do, and I still... I, I didn't I didn't get the appeal I didn't win the appeal so I was super super frustrated um that like that added on top of the frustration so then um I would be I talked to YouTube the, the chat support because you know YouTube like talking to a real person it's pretty much impossible but I talked to their chat support so talked to them um I talked to like over the past couple of days I probably talked to like five six different chat support people just trying to get something because what I asked them like hey what are the videos that's that's called that caused this problem so I can know what to do and I can know what not to do so I can fix it so I can work towards a resolution but literally every single time every single person that I talked to or chatted with every single person they would do the same thing they say, oh, is this your channel? They will confirm that this is the channel. Say, yes, that's the channel. Cool. So then they would only send me links. Like, hey, here's a link to our policies. Here's a link to our guidelines. But they would never send me specifics. Like, oh, they, they wouldn't tell me, oh, is this video, is that video, is that. And, and that made it so much more frustrating because I'm like, man, you're telling me that I did something wrong, but you're not telling me what I did wrong or where I did it wrong at. So that was even more frustrating on top of everything. And the fact that I just, I was not getting any answers at all. It just made the whole situation that much more frustrating. So I'm like, man, like I'm, I'm, I'm asking for answers, but I'm not getting nothing, nothing. 
there was one time like I think it was the the day after the day after I um got the email that channel was disabled for monetization and then um and then I got it was the day that I got the uh the email saying that my appeal was denied so I would have to wait 30 days just to apply I sat down in this chair right here sat down in this chair right here and I was getting ready to record uh the video about the Ravens hiring Willie Taggart and turn the lights on set up sat down and then everything just really hit me and I just started crying I, I just started crying because it, it hit me because it hurt like man like because the way that it felt um it's like it felt like something that you've been working very hard for um something that you've been working very hard for for years it felt like in, in a second it was it was all taken away and while it, it hasn't all been taken away, because I obviously still have my channel, but to be able to have this as my job, um, and that temporarily, at least for now, hopefully it's just temporarily, because um, again, it's up in the air right now. It, it's, it's, for, for that to be taken away, it just it hurt. It, it, it really, really hurt. Um, so it was just, it, like I said, it was stressful. It, it was, it, it really upset me a lot. And what made it worse is that me, I'm somebody who there's a problem, there's an issue. I like to address it head on. I like to think about the, um, the solutions. All right, this is the issue. All right, l let's, let's figure out the solution. Let's figure out what we need to do to reach a solution. That's how I like to think about stuff. But with this, I wasn't given anything. So then um, after really like thinking about it and really again going over all these policies and guidelines and do's and don'ts uh, about what they said that I did, I'm like, all right, what could it be? And the only other thing that I, I felt like it could be, the only other thing that changed uh, with YouTube recently was shorts. It was a YouTube shorts. And on February 1st, uh, YouTube came out. They said you can, uh, you can monetize shorts now. So you can make money off of YouTube shorts. Um, so obviously, and YouTube has been really pushing shorts recently. Um, and that's just a little back background or whatever. Um, and I'm sure anybody, any YouTubers that may be watching this, y'all know about this already. But YouTube has really been pushing shorts recently. And I think they just really want, YouTube is, um, they've really been wanting to compete with Instagram. That's why they added YouTube stories a while back. And now they, they know TikTok's been taken over. So they added YouTube short. So they want to compete with TikTok too. They want, it's like all these social media platforms, they compete with each other. Obviously, y'all y'all know that. Um, but YouTube, they, they all want to be a one-stop shop. They, are, they want it to be where you can come to this platform and you stay on this platform. And you can get the you can get the same thing that you would have to go to TikTok for a quick story for, or go to Instagram or go watch somebody's story or TikTok for a quick video. YouTube wants you all to do the, do that all in one. So they've been pushing shorts heavy. They've been focusing on shorts heavy. So that's the only thing that I could think of that it could be because since their focus has been so much on shorts, they monetize shorts. I'm sure they're paying more attention to shorts. So I figured, you know what? I do have some shorts that I uploaded where it was only like strictly videos of something else and I didn't commentate on it at all. So that's what I felt like it, it must have been. Um, and I'm, so we are working on that, um, just trying to change that up. But um, so yeah, now, so basically these next, uh, till at least March 20th, cause March 20th is the first day that I can apply uh, to be back uh, in the YouTube partner program to get monetized again march 20th is the first day that i can reapply for that so it's not a given that i'm accepted i hopefully will be so we can get back on track but um so that that's why it was, it was so stressful because everything is up in the air right now um and then because I, I reached out to to the youtube the chat support i reached out to them on twitter i, I just I, I reached out to them uh, as many ways as i could and just it was nothing I, I i got nothing i continued to get just the run around and just nothing direct and i just that that just killed me man it, it really did it, it it had killed me it had just made me so like hurt like sad um and because it, it was tough man um so yeah that's where we are now so basically um this next about for this next month um working for free 
<laughs> so uh, <clears throat> anything that we do on here, that's what I talked about in yesterday's video that uh, it sucks for, for YouTube channel members. Um, anybody who's a channel member, that's disabled. They, they, they took that away. Um, so because any, any sort of monetization, they, 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 they took it away, took it away from the channel. So YouTube people who are channel members, I'm sorry. Um, super chats and live streams are disabled. I mean, I ain't planning on doing any live streams, but you know, sometimes we might do a random live stream here and there. That's disabled. Um, yeah. So, and from any video that we make, we're still going to continue to make videos because y'all deserve that. Um, but we just, we're not getting paid for it. So that's, that's, that's the bottom line. We're not getting paid for anything, uh, that we're doing uh, via YouTube for it. Uh, for this next like a little less than a month now since we already it's already been seven days um but it was just frustrating man it, it, it was frustrating because it's uh again when when it was taken away and then um if i would have got it back and anything that i would have lost i wouldn't i wouldn't it's not retroactive i wouldn't have got it back so that was frustrating and then when it was official when it became official like all right hey we denied your appeal you're done uh, at least for the next 30 days i was like oh that it, it was tough so that was that so i just wanted to um let y'all know um get y'all updated on everything um so yeah just so y'all know uh so <laughs> special shout out uh special big shout out to uh the team keep it clean patrons especially this month because that <laughs> is it's gonna help a lot uh, so I, I appreciate it um yeah man so i yeah that's that man so thank you um for everything thank you to y'all for still supporting the channel of course thank y'all for uh just helping just being there um for really emotional support too um again every single message and everything and text and email and dm and all that i, I appreciate it like i said um whole situation it sucks it sucks really really bad it really really does it, it sucks really bad but like i said i am in a much better place now than i was before so i gotta take the good uh with the bad um so much love to y'all uh thank you and that's that man so um it, it really uh took away a lot of my motivation um it really took away a lot of my uh joy um because again this is something that we do <coughs> excuse me we do every single day something that we did every single day something that we work on every single day um and i mean there's days that we take off of course um but you'll you'll see videos every single day um but it just when the whole thing happened it's just like oh, like really like it was tough man i mean it's still tough now um but like i said we in a just in a better place man uh, mentally we're in a much better place than we were uh, yesterday than we were two days ago than we were three days ago. much better place um so yeah man i just felt like y'all deserved uh transparency with this whole thing so y'all know what's going on y'all wouldn't be left in the dark so i love y'all i appreciate y'all uh and now i'm about to head over to my uh dentist appointment so i can keep my teeth clean just like the channel we out